This is a helpful video for how to create a safe bicycle lock. The basic idea is to use multiple materials which are harder to break and which require multiple tools to break. The problem with bicycle locks is that even if they are strong and nice, even if they have strong and braided steel, the tool to break them is only small and can fit into the pocket of a grown-up person. So it requires only one tool to break a lock, a bicycle lock. So the basic idea is to reinforce a bicycle lock with multiple materials which will require the bad person to break the lock with multiple tools and which will require more time to break which in the end may mm, result in an idea that it's probably not good to break a reinforced lock maybe this bad person needs to move on and to find a better job so some of the materials that will be used in this reinforced safe lock will be a fluffy nylon string which is difficult to cut with handheld clippers if the clippers are not sharp. It's possible to cut with scissors or a knife but not with dull clippers. This is another nylon string which is more fluffy. The more fluffy the more difficult it is to cut with clippers that are not sharp enough. This one is the softer, the inner shell has a very soft and thin fiber. You see, glass fiber which is difficult to cut even with scissors that are not sharp enough. It just stays in between the scissors because it's too fluffy. So it's not possible to cut with clippers that are mm, not sharp enough. Uh, for additional reinforcement of the nylon strings, it will be better to use steel cables. This is a hard steel cable this is a softer one it's possible to cut with scissors but it's soft and very very thin so when the metal clippers are not sharp enough it will be harder to cut this one is hard it will be very easy to cut with clippers this one is harder and again one nylon string and this is a special bulletproof material from the military this is cut proof and bulletproof if it has multiple layers. The way this material works is that when a knife or a bullet hits it, it has fluffy strings inside. So the fluffy strings, they expand and they, they don't let any material to pass through because they hold it back. Just like in this special glass fiber string where the fiber just expands and it builds a net it creates a net so inside this material is a fluffy fiber which creates a net around the impact area so when a person tries to cut this material with metal clippers the thin fiber will mm, slip through the blades and it will be harder to cut. It's possible to cut with scissors though. And all of these materials will be attached to the inner tube of the bicycle lock by a industrial sticky tape which is waterproof. So to make it waterproof and more sticky. More sti the more sticky it is the better for 
the we weatherproofness. It's it's not good for the fluffy fiber because it might get sticky, but it's better for the environment, for a harsh environment. And to seal the package, a reinforced uh, rubber tube will be used. This is rubber. The rubber is soft and when the metal clippers of a bad person will try to cut it, it's soft and it will require very sharp metal clippers. It can only be cut with a sharp tool. And this is a reinforced plastic tube or rubber tube which has multiple layers of different types of materials. One is metal, nylon mesh, a nylon net and a soft rubber which is again harder to cut with clippers that are not sharp enough. So and now let's construct a bicycle lock that is safer than the regular bicycle lock. Some people might point out that this lock can be opened and picked by a feeling on the fingers. Yes, it's possible. On this lock only two digits are possible to, to guess. The rest is... there's virtually no difference between the turning points. This one, on this one you can guess three digits without knowing. It's possible to guess. So... This one is safer to use. And it also has a braided steel cable inside so it's harder to to cut with metal cl clippers when it's braided to require one or two minutes more of work to cut it if a bad person wants to cut it now the first step i will remove this plastic piece so that the cable from the lock can fit better into the tube it's a 25 millimeter tube for high pressure water. I think it's a 25 or 30 atmospheric pressures that this tube can withstand. So first I'll cut away this plastic. Now I did remove the plastic from the lock, so the lock can fit into the tube much better. And as you can see there is at the weak point, there is just a thin metal cable, just a seal, thin steel cable, it's a braided one but still too thin, so any attacker with Handheld clippers could open this lock if it's necessary. So now let's reinforce this lock layer by layer. First layer I'll use the, the textile because it's flat. So that no, I'll, I'll use the textile and wrap it up and use the sticky tape so that it stays in place and it is protected against the moisture. Now the bulletproof textile is already wrapped around the steel cable and the plastic tube. So now a bad person with metal clippers will have to work harder and it already looks more secure. As you can see I'm using small bits of sticky tape to hold the material in place and now I'm gonna use the sticky tape to seal it, seal it off against moisture. So layer by layer this lock will be built up to become safer. Now the first layer of the security advancement is already finished. As you can see the lock is already safer 
and still flexible. That's because this sticky tape is an industrial and flexible and strong one. It's very easy to do, you just hold the sticky tape between your knees, hold it with your knees and then slowly roll the cable of the lock into the sticky tape slowly. It's an easy process, just requires a, a little bit of time. Now I'm going to use a second, I'm going to build up a second layer of with this lock of the security, second layer of security, so I'll use mm, I'll use this bits of the sticky tape to hold the different fiber strings in place and then on top of this I'll put the steel cable so that in order to cut the uh, fiber the bad person will have to cut the steel cable first which is requires uh, sharp clippers and it's not possible to cut with a knife so it will add more security against people who want to cut with a knife so let's do this I'll apply a second security layer now the second security layer is in place take notice how the fiber is twisted around the cable of the lock so that if a bad person cuts at one side there is still another fiber string at the other side so you have to cut from all sides before reaching the inner core inner layer of the lock Additionally, on top of the fluffy fiber is a metal cable which will protect against sharp tools such as scissors, sharp big garden scissors or sharp knives. If a bad person has a knife, then wants to cut the lock then it will be already a, an armed robbery armed robbery is a serious crime more serious than a simple robbery so now you have the two layers of security let's wrap it up so it's smooth and clean and protected against moisture I will once again use sticky tape for wrapping up the second security layer. Now the second security level is complete. You have one layer of thin steel cable, one layer of fiber strings, one layer of bulletproof textile fabric and lots of sticky tape. Underneath it all is a plastic tube and in the plastic tube is a braided steel cable, hardened braced, hardened steel cable. So now I'm going to apply a little bit of olive oil on the outside of sticky tape. I'll cut the reinforced rubber tube to the size of the lock slightly slightly bigger so that I can adjust if necessary so that it will fit completely without exposing any weak points and notice how the security layers they all run to this big metal piece so it starts from here so there is no weak points in the security layer 
Now let's do this. Let's fit this lock into position and finalize the construction. As I'm trying to cut the cable, oh, the, the rubber tube, the reinforced rubber tube. Here is a quick demonstration of the strength of the rubber tube, the reinforced rubber tube. As you hear the squeaking, this is the rubber being flexible and it wraps around the, the knife. So, a special tool is required to cut the, the rubber, some sharp scissors, sharp garden scissors or special scissors. And uh, simply a knife cannot cut uh, the rubber tube very fast, so it will require more work if the bad person wants to cut. Which will add additional security to the reinforced lock. I'll, yeah, I'll use a special tool, which will be not in the video. Now the construction is complete. I have used oil and water to force the lock into the rubber tube. It was difficult, I need to use a towel to hold the, the lock so it doesn't slip in the hands. It was necessary to bend the tube multiple times, many times, so that the lock will slowly flex itself into the tube and exit at the other side. Uh, I have trimmed the edges, it's not perfect, but then again it's a, it's a self-made lock, not an industrially designed, just in one hour, one half hours you can create such a lock if you want. Now for comparison, here is a standard lock of the same size. Now ask yourself, if you are a bad person and you want to break a lock on a bicycle with a simple handheld tool that you have, and you see five bicycles, four of them have this lock and one of them has this lock, it's probably not gonna be this lock, you're gonna go for the easier target. So the main idea is to have a lock that is more difficult to break and it will require multiple tools to break or very or one very large tool for breaking metal cables which is also sharp for breaking the uh, the, the nylon fiber and the glass fiber and the uh, bulletproof textile I hope it helps if you have any idea how to make this lock even more secure please make a comment if you want to see such locks on the market please like this video until the lock manufacturers start making locks bicycle locks with multiple security layers and with multiple materials that are Harder to break with a simple handheld clipper that can fit into the pocket of any bad person. Spreading the information and liking this video is one way to create a future in which such locks are available on the market. Thank you for supporting the Creative Commons movement. Have fun making your own advanced security lock for the bicycle.